I'm being pretty lazy. It's cold, it's damp out in my garage, but I have started work again on my C15. The engine is back out and it's stripped down and I'm not going to show you that at the moment because I've, I've showed it to you before. I'll show you one or two things that I've come across about this oil leaks that I've got. I don't know can I show this with the camera but here are, is the primary drive side crank cases. I don't know do you see they're sort of pink markings round the case and there's a lot of grinding has gone on. I don't know has someone had these lugs rebuilt but this one's got a big gouge in it. It's almost like maybe the primary chain had torn into that. I don't know but something's been going on there. However I haven't had too much leaks from the primary drive there's a kind of indent in the case there that should maybe be filled up, but I'm leaving it. Now here on the other side, yet again, is that pink marking. And you can definitely see a weld has been put in there. That is the insert that I replaced earlier this year, and it seems to be holding well and doing well. This is all the evidence of a BSA C15 in pieces. My whole gut feeling is that the problem with the engine has been this face here where they come into contact with each other. Now what I did find was that there was a dowel missing. I had a dowel in this position here but the dowel here was missing so I've got hold of a couple of dowels. So there's a dowel there Now the next thing I found was that all my screws are kind of different sizes, they're a hodgepodge of screws here. But I found that the one that goes through here and goes through the outer cover was too long and didn't seem to be pulling the case shut properly. When I bolt it all down I do get a tiny gap just here where I can slide in a 0 0.002 gauge. I also found that the old butchered bolt that goes in here was too long and wasn't holding the case at that point. So I'm hoping that that is part of the problems. Now I have cleaned up everything. I've cleaned up every thread. I've put a drill bit down to chase the rubbish out that's at the bottom of them. I've been cleaning faces. I should maybe grind them down a bit but I'm going to try putting it back together just like this at the moment. Two shorter ones go there. Here I'm fitting the studs. This is pressing in new oil seals. Now 
maybe have overdone the Hylomar, but I do want it to seal. This time I'm pressing the crankcases together and then waiting a while for the Hylomar to go tacky. It's just a wee job, but I feel I'm starting to move on a wee bit again at last. <laughs> 